Hey guys, Carrick here, back with a new review. This time I'm reviewing the Duo Cube 789 Dobu Tide Deluxe Toe Side Duo from Dobu Sentai Duo here. This is the mecha of Duo the World, which is comprised of three Duo Cubes that combine in a different way than the previous two. So this includes a few things. Includes two standard Duo Cubes, Cube Crocodile and Cube Wolf plus a bigger modified Duo Cube, Cube Rhinos, which comes in two pieces. So, let's get started. To start, we'll look at Duo Cube 7, Cube Crocodile. This is a gold cube with black and silver accents. And as you can see from the front, it has a pair of cylindrical joints that the 7 actually runs through. While it is a little bit odd to look at, when viewed from the front, it is cohesive enough that you can make out the number perfectly. You can see it's a very interesting design that has a very scaly pattern running along it. And if you look at it from the back, you can see that this can become a waste for Duo King or Duo Wild. So transform it, you want to flip it like so. Then, use your finger to pull out the top and bottom jaws. Then, pull back these two pieces and put them together to form the tail. And there we have Cube Crocodile in animal mode. Well, it is a bit of a squat, very blocky looking crocodile. It does pull off the mode quite well. You can see it has a scaly design going all along it. Some nice green eyes. And the teeth are positioned so that if the mouth closed all the way, they would fit in between each other. Even a nice little bit of silver on the bottom. Some feet on the sides. And I really do like how they use these two pieces to form the tail, which does look very nice as well. And because of the way it transforms, you can actually display it with the mouth open, as you in the molded in tongue. So that's pretty cool. Next is Duo Cube 8, Cube Wolf. This is a silver cube with black and gold accents. You can see that the 8 is a lot more smoothly designed here in the front. It has this interesting gold corner that does serve a purpose later on. It has a very nice intricate design going on in it. With a little bit more gold accenting here on the side. On the back, you can see that this will become a leg piece for Duo King or Duo Wild, or at least it can. Now for the transformation, this is actually a little bit interesting, as you have to start by taking this piece here and folding it all the way until it clicks into place like so. Then, take this piece here and fold it out. And there you have Cube Wolf in animal mode. So, uh, this is definitely a very interesting design because, similar to Cube Elephant, it has a diamond like shape to the body since the cube portion is now angled. You can see the head here, which is a very wolf like head with some nice purple eyes, molded teeth, and a uh, good transition of colors from the white muzzle, the black nose and the silver mane and then a bit of black going back into the body you can see it has some small molded feet that it does rest well on you can see that that black pattern actually continues along the side of the body and then the section back here becomes the tail it's a bit of an odd design for, the, for a wolf but I think it gives it a kind of hunched over look that I personally quite like
finally we have Geo Cube 9 Cube Rhinos. Now this is interesting because as I said in the beginning, this is a modified Geo Cube, meaning it does not take the form of cube, but instead a tractor trailer. This was modified in series by the uh, series villains, the Death Galleons. And so because of its nature, it actually comes in two pieces. The cab and then the trailer itself. So the main part is the uh, trailer cab. We can see the number nine in two places. First on the front, gr oh. first on the front grill here, then on the side right here. It has some very menacing red eyes, as well as a pair of horns up here. Now, uh, making it black is actually pretty clever, as that makes it a reference to the black rhinoceros. See, it has a pair of free spinning wheels on this axle here. I guess they're uh, actually connected wheels, rather. And then a second wheel under here, as well as some fake wheels on the sides. It also even has a pair of molded-in smokestacks, which are painted silver. As for the trailer, it's a pretty long piece. You can see a gold cage-like design on the sides, as well as some white accents. It has a pair of wheels similar to the underside wheel on the trailer. Connects via this hit here. And rolls along quite nicely. Now you can actually store your cubes within the trailer itself. Primarily, you can take cube crocodile, put it in here, and take cube wolf, and put it there. And this is how it's most often seen in the show before deploying Crocodile and Wolf. But you can actually also store up the other Geo Cubes within it. For example, you can take a Cube Eagle, put it in the center there, Cube Shark, put it on the left. And put Cube Lion here on the right. So now Cube Rhinos is hauling the pieces to Geo King. Alternatively, take Cube Gorilla, put it in the center, put Cube Elephant on the left and put Cube Tiger on the right. It can fit into either one of the side ports thanks to this indent here and here, but it can't fit in the middle. So now it's hauling the pieces to Geo Wild. I think that's really cool because it gives it playability outside of just the transformation. And it makes up for the fact that this can't directly interact or have a direct combination with Geo King or Geo Wild without using other pieces. Alright, so to start the transformation into Tosai Jo, first we're going to set aside Cube Crocodile and Cube Wolf and focus on Cube Rhinos. So we're going to detach the trailer from the hitch, detach the horn part, set aside, and take the grill and fold it all the way back until it's down here, and flip up the cap section to become the legs. And you're going to take the uh, trailer, 
using these two slots here to attach them to these two ports right there to form the upper torso I'm going to take these sections here and fold them down to form the arms to make the left hand you're going to take the horn piece and attach it right here then take cube crocodile fold out the crocodile head attach it to make the right arm finally take cube wolf making sure that the gold corner is in the upper part of it yeah, this is basically here to show you which way is right side up and put it here in the middle and you'll see that it has uh, some numbers here 6, 8, and 1 which correspond to different positions of those three cubes so we're going to put 8 in the middle and finally take this section here and fold it down to become the face And there we have Tosai Duo. So you can see that Tosai Duo is very different from Duo King or Duo Wild. Instead of just being a simple totem pole combination, Cube Rhinos formed most of the body, with Cube Crocodile forming one of the hands and then Cube Wolf forming the head. Looking at the head, you can see here it's got a very nice design. Kind of Transformers-esque. You also see these engraved patterns here of the three uh, animals that make up Tosa Duo. A golden crocodile on the left, a silver wolf on the, on the right, and a black rhino in the center. You can even see that there are designs on the top of the cab to uh, make it look like it has legs as well as some claw-like feet and while it is technically one piece there is at least a kind of indent and divide in the middle to make it look like the legs are separate now with this there is minimal articulation with you being able to rotate the arms around on a 360 degree joint move them a little bit on the transformation joints and of course you can open and close Cube Crocodile's mouth. As far as combinations go, like the others, is a simple combination, but I do like how it stands out from the others, especially in terms of its width. As the trailer gives it a very large uh, width and very broad shoulders, which makes it look pretty powerful, if you ask me. So, as stated earlier, Cube Crocodile and Cube Wolf can be used in conjunction with Yo King and Yo Wild, and with the two of them together, you can get a total of six new combinations for the two of them all together. So, starting with the combinations for Yo King, first we'll take away Cube Shark and place it with. Cube Crocodile. This forms Yo King 137. The other side of things. Take uh, shark here and wolf and make Joe King one two eight. And I'm actually realizing that there are potentially more than six combinations that you can make for these two. I'm just going to show off the main six, so.
This will take you a while. Make your wild four six seven using crocodile as the waste. And make your wild five six eight using wolf as the legs. And then, of course, you have the two of them together. I just want to show this up, uh, up close just quick, real quick. Because, as you can see, these two are uh, definitely designed to go together the best. And you can see the crocodile-like uh, design here on Cube Crocodile. As well as the two wolf heads down here on Cube Wolf. Though, unfortunately, the two transmission joints for the tail do kind of get in the way right here, but it can't be helped. So, there we have Duo King 178. And there's Duo Wild 678, which I think looks better than when used with Cube Eagle. Though none of them seem to quite work right, but they still definitely are pretty cool, and as I've kind of shown, and as you can kind of imagine, there are certainly more combinations to this than this, but these are the main six that you can make using Cube Crocodile and Cube Wolf. And there we go. So, I do know that there's still Wild Tosai King left to show, but I'm not going to show that off until Cube Komori is released and I can show the full proper combination. So, for now, I'll just give my final thoughts on Tosai Duo. Overall, I think this is a fun new mecha and a very nice new addition to the Duo Your Mech line. I do like that with Cube Rhinos being different from your standard Duo Cube, it both gives you that bit of playability with being able to store different cubes within the trailer and haul them around. And also gives you this interesting kind of asymmetrical combination. Where it, instead of using, say, both of them as hands, it uses one of the other two duo cubes as a hand, and then the other as a head. And I really like how it has a very cohesive color scheme where thanks to it having gold on the body and a bit of white accenting, it all just comes together really well, despite being made up of three different duo cubes. Now, uh, this is a set that includes all three, but they are also sold separately. Whichever one you get, it's only going to be worth it, but I would recommend buying them together so you can make Tosa Duo. And I certainly wouldn't recommend picking up Cube Rhinos on its own without the other two, just because all you can do with it without the other two is just to store cubes in the back, which is fun, but it really is much more worth it if you can make Tosa Duo. That being said, however you choose to buy it, I definitely can recommend picking up the three cubes that make this awesome mech. So, next time I'll be viewing the Mugen Ghost Icon from Kamen Rider Ghost. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash 50 And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.